Hello, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the tools that are available in the Scan to 3D add-in that's present inside SolidWorks Premium. So to get started, we can either go to Tools, Add-ins, or come to the drop-down shortcut for add-ins in the standard toolbar and make sure our Scan to 3D tools are turned on. In this part, we've got a couple different meshes. We're going to come in and hide the top mesh for now and work on the bottom mesh. If we right-click on the bottom mesh, we can come into the mesh prep wizard. This will give us some tools to modify the original data. We can either move it around. We've got the ability to remove any extra data points that might be floating out in space. We've also got a global and local simplification that we can do on the model, as well as global and local smoothness that we can run as well. The next step is going to come in and allow us to fill in any holes. With this one, I might want to come in and delete that one so we don't actually fill it in right now. We'll do it manually a little bit later on. From there, we can launch straight into the Surface Prep Wizard. And we've got Automatic and Guided Tools. We'll stick with Automatic for now. We can come in and look at the surface detail, maybe move the slider back just a little bit, and look at the feature lines. There's some nice tools in the feature lines options to you know, clean up the, the mesh that's going to get created. If we look at the model, we've got some wavy lines down here at the bottom. We come in and actually delete that line. Come back in and put it in straight across there. Maybe do the same thing to the other side. So that'll give us some much better feature lines across there. We've also got the ability, if we want to come in and relax feature lines, uh, maybe choose some of these lines on the edge to, to smooth out. From there, if we keep on going, we are going to get some surfaces that, that get created and we'll kind of see how they, uh, they turn out in the model. From here, it's going to give us a message about the surfaces completed and we've got 128 faces. So this is actually a, a nice SOLIDWORKS surface model. So with a little bit more work, I've got a kind of a finished version here. I came in and put a plane in and a planar surface and then knitted those all into a into a complete solid body. Okay, so that's one option that we can do uh, for our scan to 3D data. If we go back over to the original, maybe I come in and delete that surface that we created, but then come in and show uh, the bottle mesh again. If we look at another thing we can do, we can come down to the curve wizard, and we've got some, some sectioning tools that we can use. Maybe we come in and use a, a plane here. We're going to come off of the top plane. Maybe use a point to start on. Maybe reverse the direction there. And if we scroll down and give us a couple different uh, section planes, we can control the, the distance between each two. This is basically giving us some loft profiles that we can use later on. For the section curves, if we come down and pick one a little bit further further down, We've actually got the ability to increase or decrease the surface fit tools. And this is going to come in and give us a 3D sketch with a bunch of different curves that we could pull into a loft a little bit later on. So let's come in and hide that top mesh and maybe even the sketch as well. And let's take a look at the, the top mesh. There's some other tools that we can do here. Uh, same thing with the, the curve wizard. But this time we might be able to come in and use a, um, a sketch to help us to help us out a little bit. We've got a, a sketch that goes along the surface there. Maybe we bump up the number of planes. It's going to give us some loft profiles. The nice thing here is they're normal to the plane that we've got created. What else can we do with this guy? If we come in and maybe go to the surface wizard uh, on this mesh, we've got the ability to go through some guided creation again. Uh, if we had a symmetry plane, we could use that. For now, we're not going to, but we're going to come in and it does some surface creation here and it's going to paint the surfaces for us. Let's see how that turns out. It's going to color code the faces that it finds that are I guess unique. From there we can actually come in and use some of the tools to identify say the neck here 
and that could actually be generated with just a single revolve. So we'll try to do that and, and get that to work as soon as this is done creating these meshes. Another thing that we can do here in a minute as well is work on the top surface. But for now, maybe we come in and pick on some of these surfaces. Once we go to the next screen. And we want to define all of these surfaces as a, a revolve. Uh, the next thing we might want to do is come in and pick this top surface and define him as a B-spline. So we've got the ability to control the UV curves that are used to generate this, this surface. So let's see what this is going to generate for us. We've got a couple different surfaces that we've extracted. Let's go in and hide all of these sub-meshes. If we look here, we've got a B-spline surface for the top of the lid. We've also got a nice, fairly clean surface revolve for the bottom part. If we edit that sketch, we've got nice lines and arcs that it pulled out of the scan data. So we could solidify that, thicken that, and be on our way to finish up our surfacing and solid creation for this part. So these are a few of the tools that are available in the Scanda 3D add-in. Again, this was Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope you found this information useful.